initiate interact influence. concentration camps of Nazis, whole of Baluchistan is just like a concentration camp. <coughs> we, we cannot breathe, we, we cannot live, there is, there is no life left for us. The only decision uh, with us is to fight and embrace uh, death uh, while fighting or make our country independent. We don't have any, any other uh, option with us. So uh, death, if death is written for us from nature, there are many species, they are extinct uh, without knowing that they are, uh, they are going to be finished from this earth and uh, but like if we know this, that, that death is written for a nation and the whole world is uh, silently watching it, so this death will not uh, contain here. We will fight. We will fight till our last breath. We will fight till the last Baloch level. This is our decision. Because we never accepted slavery, we always fought. And this, uh, this uh, Gwadar is not first time under attack from foreigners like Pakistan and China. Before that, uh, Vasco de Gama was there with his fleet, Navy, naval fleet. And twice we defeated him. And uh, till now we have his cannons and his, uh, his um, rifles and the swords of uh, Portuguese army as souvenirs with us. We defeated British. British never conquered us. They made some contracts with <coughs> us on foreign policy. They took some places on lease, but they never conquered us, they never ruled us. But yes, they divided us, uh, they, uh, they bribed the tribal chiefs and uh, the cheapest commodity in Baloch society is our tribal sardars. And, uh, but this is, uh, the question is here, uh, is Indian security is on stakes? If Baloch today is fighting on the front line, without anybody's help. Like when Mazdak's uh, father was in a, uh, Pakistan's army's torture cell, and uh, he, uh, he always uh, <coughs> like listened, and many, many uh, Baloch who uh, uh, like rescued from the torture cells before uh, 2008. After that, no Baloch came back alive. But before that, when they came, they always said that we observed Chinese in the torture cells. We, we saw them. So Chinese are uh, teaching Pakistanis, they are training Pakistani army how to torture Baluch people. And 
always uh, they were saying that you are raw agent, you are raw agent. So, but the uh, actual situation that raw never supported Baruch. Even no Indian government supported Baruch. So the, the Indian people, they never knew what's, what's going on because Baluchistan was under uh, a black uh, sheet. No information was coming out. So when I came here uh, in, in April this year, and I'm very much thankful to Captain Bansal also that uh, he invited me to his uh, think tank uh, in Delhi. Um, when I was raising uh, clear uh, calls, I was, uh, I was giving uh, calls of uh, Indian intervention, Indian government's intervention, Indian people's support. So the people in Pakistan, they were laughing and they said, look at this woman. She is in India and she thinks that Indians will support, support her. I said, we have already a stamp of raw on our forehead. Let, let it clear if raw is with us or no. If India is with us or no. Because this is not a uh, cold, cold war era. Everything is very much clear here in the world. Enemies are, and allies are very much clear. So India is with Baluch or no, we must know for making our future strategies. But nobody was expecting because Pakistan uh, very uh, 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 like cleverly, very smartly played with all former Indian governments on Kashmir and Baluchistan card. But this was the first time that Indian government called uh, responded to to our call and that day was a black day in Pakistan 15th August 19, uh, 2016 today uh, like Sushma ji's uh, second we all pray for her one of our uh, brother in the US has uh, offered his own kidney for Sushma ji and uh, Yeah, so it is, it is, uh, Pakistan army is taking our kidneys and our hearts and liver and eyes. Uh, when they abduct our people, they take it and they sell it. Uh, but uh, I don't think that any such operation, whoever gets that heart or kidney <coughs> will, will work with anybody's body. But when we give with our own consent and our own love uh, to Indians, uh, it, it will work. It will work. So um, today's question uh, is uh, on CPAC mostly. That uh, China is making many uh, uh, such corridors uh, develop in the name of development. China is making many ports, uh, but uh, especially uh, CPAC. When we look at it in the name of development, uh, Baluchistan is a direct. Uh, uh, focus because uh, mostly it, it exists in Baluchistan, Baluch waters and Baluch soil and Baluch port. And, but <clears throat> and China is very hyperactive and Pakistan is very hyperactive. We, we see that maybe they are getting huge support, a huge uh, benefit out of it. And they are saying that uh, it's, a, uh, it's an economic project. So uh, it is economic or it's uh, a military project, like uh, Mazda Jan said. Uh, like China is initiating or showing its initiatives in, in many ways, like BRICS and Shanghai Corporation, AIB Bank. So people start believing that yeah, China is uh, very much sincere in uh, the economic um, development of uh, this region. But if um, you look at Baluchistan. If you if you um, go through the isolation of Baluch people from all such kind of uh, projects, it shows that there is something fishy, because wherever Chinese project is, like Sindh Gold uh, Mine, uh, near that Baluchs were not were not allowed to to go. 
So then it uh, uh, appeared that this gold mine, it was not only stealing of gold, but it uh, resulted into the Pakistan's, Pakistan, China's nuclear tests. <coughs> Five nuclear tests they did near the same area. They snatched all the gold and they built uh, uh, sites for nuclear tests secretly. <coughs> Anything about CPAC, it is, uh, it is taken as an uh, issue of national security in Pakistan. No, uh, no common person, even their Pakistani media, is not uh, allowed to take any information about CPAC. It is only the cha chairman of Senate can have the information, otherwise no one can have. So this is uh, a, a fishy kind of development that uh, it's uh, in, uh, information about a road construction, information about a port construction, information about some uh, electricity uh, developing and electricity producing uh, uh, projects is how it can, it becomes uh, a matter of national security. It's again fishy. And um, Pakistan has uh, uh, like recruited a special security force uh, a major general is heading it, 15,000 soldiers, uh, nine composite infantry bat battalions, and six civilian armed forces. 7,000 Chinese are working on this project, means two Pakistani army for one China. Chinese. What kind of development this is this? In, in, in India, many Chinese are, are roaming here and there. Nobody, uh, no, nobody looks at them. But why every Chinese has two Pakistan army person for him to roam in Baluchistan? And still, Chinese are not able to roam in Baluchistan without, uh, <coughs> even with Pakistan army's uh, protection, they get killed if they, 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 uh, they get, uh, anybody see them, they get killed there. They are not allowed to, to roam in Baluchistan. So what kind of development is this? 35 billion out of, like Mr. Desai was saying, 46 billion uh, dollars uh, project is, uh, dollars uh, China is going to invest. 35 uh, billions are for energy. Uh, and Pakistan's uh, share is 20%. Infrastructure is, uh, the rest is for infrastructure, like 11 billion, and road and port and all this is just 11 uh, billion and 50 to 60 percent uh, will be uh, the share from Pakistan. Pakistan needs to pay around 15 to 20 billion dollars for this CPAC on papers. Is it possible for Pakistan? Its GDP debt ratio is uh, ratio is 65 percent, touching 65 percent. Foreign debt is touching 70 billion dollars. Anybody will give Pakistan loan to invest in CPAC? So what kind of uh, project they are showing on papers and what kind of uh, uh, things are going on inside? So. Um, Another important uh, thing, it's interesting to know that Chinese industrial hub, that China is saying that I need this shortcut to take uh, oil from Arabian Gulf and Persian Gulf to uh, China. If they take through uh, sea lanes that they are taking, uh, it, it becomes 8 to 10 uh, times cheaper than CPAC. Chinese industrial hub is in the eastern China. It's not in, in the western side which touches uh, Gilgit, Pakistan and Pakistani occupied Kashmir. So uh, it's again fishy that uh, China is, uh, instead of using a cheaper way, it's using uh, eight to 10 times more 
uh, costly way where after every 10 kilometers, Baloch freedom fighters are hiding in the mountains and attacking on them. But they are insisting on, on this kind of development. So there was a, uh, in a, a presentation of uh, Mazar Jan, um, actually we, we think together like he was a part of my body when I was uh, uh, in, in activism. So uh, like we think together, we work together, it's, it's a very nice team we have. So when he was uh, showing uh, this, the roots of CPAC, you have seen that uh, the eastern route is just touching India. It means the CPAC, it is a whole military project. It's military from Pakistan side, it's military from Chinese side. So a whole military uh, cantonment of thousands of kilometers is coming towards the western side of India. What's going on? It's like um, uh, like uh, AP, Ladakh, Kashmir, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Punjab. Like China is uh, encircling India from uh, like land sites north and then uh, South China Sea and then now from uh, inside, um, inside like it's when you call Pakistan, we call it uh, India, it's India basically. So it, it's coming on, on that part of India that's taken away from you. So um, we look at it as uh, a military uh, project, CPAC. It's not only exploitation project, it's a military project, project against India. Baluchistan is a victim to <coughs> contain India. So if today we are on front line fighting against the occupation of our land, occupation of our writ on our own country, that we never compromised, we always fought and we will fight but this is the time for Indian government. This is the time for Indian think tanks. This is the time for Indian media. And this is the time for Indian people, especially youth. That the, the, the young girls and the young boys of, of Indian society. Your governments have always compromised on your interests. It was, I, I have no right to, to talk uh, about your internal matters. But uh, what I see is young generation of India, there should be a litmus test for Indian nationalism. If an India, if an Indian politician or an Indian uh, person claims to be a nationalist, he or she must stand with Baluchistan. This is the litmus test for Indian nationalism. I came here before when there were, there were coalition governments. It's not the first time I came. I came openly first time. It's uh, like I burned all the ships and I came, I said, Tahtia Tahta. But before that, when I came, I got refused. That we can't interfere in Pakistan's internal issues. Balochistan is not Pakistan's internal <coughs> issue. Pakistan interfered in Balochistan's internal issue. And that time, our head of uh, House of Common of Baluch Parliament came to India and met Mr. Nehru and met Mr. Abul Karam Azad and they refused. Because they claimed India was independent at that time. But you know, because you are the scholar sitting here, <coughs> that India was not totally free. Indian army was, and Pakistan army, both were controlled by British. And Pakistan army and Indian army were fighting with each other. So how British were playing on Kashmir? And Pakistan occupied 
Kashmir, Pakistan occupied Gilgit Baltistan, Pakistan occupied Baluchistan. It all was <coughs> with the will of British. And still if Pakistan is alive, still if Pakistan is creating problems for India, for Afghanistan, for Baluchistan, and for rest of the world, <coughs> that wherever there is terrorism, the roots goes to Pakistan. So if Pakistan is able to do it, it's all foreign funding. It's all foreign loans. It's all this uh, war against uh, former Soviet Union and then war against terror. Pakistan creating terror and then selling terror and taking more money. This is the time to isolate Pakistan. This is the time to show Indian public uh, spirit, Indian public voice, it should be raised in front of the world that Pakistan is not, is no more tolerable for any civilized person, any civilized nation. And this is the time <clears throat> to join hands. Again, I'm sorry, I should not speak in, in internal issues of uh, India, but this is the time to join hands. Whatever done, right or wrong, but this is the time for Indian nation to join hands on national issues. There is no uh, uh, number scoring issue. What Modi ji is doing, uh, it's, it's not uh, number scoring, it's what a nationalist Indian must do. And it should be done 70 years back. It's late and that, uh, that delay made Pakistan that much powerful. That dragon was, was uh, feeded and feeded and feeded. This is the time to cut. So join hands with Modi, not only because he's, he spoke for Baluch. There, 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 there is much more uh, he must do for Baluchistan. Just uh, speaking is not enough. <coughs> if anybody needs, anybody wants India as a safe country, anybody needs India as a developed country, he or she needs Baluchistan beside India as a free and independent country, providing safe and fastest routes towards Central Asia for your finished goods, and that provides the safest and shortest routes for energy to, to fulfill your needs for, for your industrial development. So for all this, we need to join hands and we need to contain this terrorism, this root of terrorism, this cancer that is called Pakistan. No one needs it anymore. So we need more surgical strikes. We need more planned surgical strikes.